Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, it's great to see you all. I'm with my partner, John Coleman, and our favorite philosopher, Bill Jordan. <laughs> hey, Bill. Hi, guys. I mean, how many hey. philosophers do you have that I'm your favorite? I think I'm your only philosopher. I okay, think you're so, by, you know, you know, take, take it, Bill. Take it. Oh, I took it. Believe me. <laughs> Bill, do you even think of yourself as a philosopher? No, but I sure have... Uh, in, uh, to pardon my own phrase, I have embraced it. If you had told me when I was in high school or the one year I, my one year stint in college that one day I would love reading philosophy, I would have laughed at you because I didn't understand what philosophy was. Philosophy is learning how to live. I mean, yeah, yeah. bottom line, well, that's you, what it is. I had no idea what it was. You, you, the reason, now I love it. The reason we kind of hang that moniker on you is because you have become known um, on your website for your 15 practices right. and um, and as well as quoting you know famous historically famous right. uh, philosophers right. but your 15 practices are without a doubt philosophical they're very practical they're right. great great pieces of advice right. but they are very philosophical ways of looking at life, and I, I find them very helpful. Well, what's I your mean, favorite? I, I do too. When I when I you know I don't know if I ha you know I, I really I don't know if I have a favorite. What I find that I am doing, in these fifteen practices, is I will try to key in on one every day. And and just be mindful of that every day. And then hopefully it will become ingrained in a, as a practice or, or as a habit, because as it is, it's a practice. And I say in, in one of my videos, you know, if a, if a young lady graduates, you know, law school, she opens up her law practice. If you graduate medical school, you open up your med medical practice. So right. if these people are still practicing, I should probably still be practicing. So... Yeah, they're just 15, 15 practices, I call it, and not rules or standards or anything else. It's just things that I'm trying, and I'll never get them all right. I'll never get them right, but it's something to, uh, to which to aspire, I think, is to just, and when I, when I do embrace these practices, um, I know that I have a better life. I have a calmer, more mature, perhaps, and more organized life. And number yeah. one, uh, where I think we should always start is with an attitude of gratitude. I mean, that makes everything enough, doesn't it? If you're if you're grateful for things and and something I did you know, in my first YouTube video for uh, attitude of gratitude in talking about even to the point of like I can walk out on my back deck in the morning and I try to tick off each of my senses. What can I see, hear, feel, taste and smell and just go down that list and be thankful for all my senses. Uh, that occurred to me a, a few years ago, we were doing our Thanksgiving dinner and like a lot of families do, you go around the table and what are you thankful for? And it got to me and I, it had never occurred to me to be thankful for my senses. As obvious as that is now to me, everything that we enjoy in life comes to us through our senses. So yeah, attitude of gratitude. And it also helps to, for example, if you're happily married, be thankful for your spouse or partner, and but also give a brief thought to those who aren't as fortunate, and that kind of heightens your gratitude of where you are too. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. gratitude, of course, is not limited to any one subject, like certainly not your senses or your spouse. Right. Or, I mean, gratitude oh, is, and that's why that's why right. number one such such a good practice. Sure. I mean, if you say, you know, I'm grateful for if you if you do that, it, you could you would never run out of things to be grateful for. Right. It, right. It's an ever ending list. You know, even to the fact of, hey, I'm, I'm grateful I can make a list of things I'm grateful for. Yeah. Right. Well, it is. a It is a good starting spot for your not only for the 15, but for any of us who want to improve our lives. Sure. I mean, attitude of gratitude and and seeing the challenging part, um, and, and we've, I think, talked about this on previous ones. My wife has had a really kind of crazy run health-wise in the last year and a half. A broken left ankle, a broken right foot, 
gallbladder surgery last year. She's just had uh, hand surgery for arthritis in her in her the base of her thumb where it was gotten to be bone on bone. She's in recovery for that now. And in spite of all those things, trying to see something good that has happened because of those things, it can be a, quite quite the challenge at times. But we're both getting a little bit better about, okay, this is allowing us to sit back and, you know, take stock and be thankful that we've got great health care for an example, um, as an example. So, yeah, finding the good in stuff, as challenging as it may be, but that attitude of gratitude, number one, did you? Did I see you throw your mug up there? I can yeah. do that. Yeah. Well, it's all part of embrace the boom. That is practice number one of my 15 practices of embrace the boom. And by the way, you can find the mug and kind of a highlight and there are links to my YouTube channel as well at Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com. And as I like to say, because it's my saying, live your life, forget your age and, and embrace the boom. Embrace and, the boom. and remember, right. you don't have to be a baby boomer to enjoy the 15 practices. It's good and, for everyone. And also, you know, you started this off uh, today, Bill, with, uh, you know, if you become an attorney, you open a practice. And if you become a doctor, you open a practice. Well, I'm going to suggest that I'm looking forward to perhaps in two or three years, you uh, uh, giving an audience a, uh, a, a talk about all your practices at Carnegie Hall, because all you need to do is practice. How do you practice. get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, here's to you. All right, guys. Thank you for having me back. Okay. See you soon, Bill. See y'all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.